Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very overdue Toy Story 4 review. So I apologise that this movie is literally so overdue. This movie review, sorry, is so overdue. I'm no cup of tea today because I am sweating just a giant bottle of water. It is so warm, one of the reasons why I haven't uploaded for a while. My studio lights, I don't know why, are the hottest things on earth. So I'm really struggling right now. I've got the door open, you will be he able to hear outside noise but I need cool air, I need something, I am so warm. So normally for some of my movie reviews, I've just kind of been like, let's go over the negatives and the positives and try to remember. But for Endgame, I went through the plot online and went through the whole movie and then was like, I did or I didn't like this as we went through it. And I feel like that's a better idea because then we don't miss anything out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read the movie plot out off Wikipedia and as we go through the movie, I'm gonna talk about what I did and didn't like. So this movie review is going to include spoilers. So if you haven't seen Toy Story 4 and you don't want spoilers, then click off this video because I'm gonna be talking about the movie. So without further ado, here's what I thought about Toy Story 4. So I've now seen Toy Story 4 twice. Um, the first time I was very kindly gifted to go down to London with Odeon and I took my little sister, which was really nice. She had exactly the same feelings as me, which you're about to find out about the movie. The second time I went, I went with my boyfriend, Matthew, and he had very different views about the movie to me. Uh, which you'll also find out as we go. So this is gonna be interesting. So the very first scene kind of is like the whole Bo Peep is being sent away because Andy's little sister isn't really that bothered about her anymore. And Woody goes to say bye. And I thought that was a really nice touch because I was like, we didn't really find out what happened to Bo and why she disappeared in number three. And it was really nice to see how much Bo meant to Woody because he nearly went with her, but then he realizes that Andy really needs him. So I really liked that. It showed that there really is something between them. So I liked it, I did. I thought it was a really nice touch. It was sad, but we got to find out what happened to her. Okay, so after that, you kind of like, Woody's stuck in the cupboard, which, you know, I get kids don't really like some toys and do like others. Like it was weird, a little tiny bit, not really, but bit, that um, Bonnie liked Woody, but uh, sorry, Bonnie liked Jesse, but wasn't really that bothered on Woody. I don't know if it was because it was a cowgirl instead of a cowboy, woman power. But uh, yeah, so that was interesting. So he's already starting to get left out and, you know, feeling like he's not really fulfilling his toy destiny. It's not even just about being played with. He needs to be the favourite and he's not being played with at all. So that was sad to see. You know, it was already starting to be a bit like, oh, poor Woody. Like, after number three, the third movie ending was perfect. They could have left it there and it was perfect. Straight away, coming into the movie to find out what happened to Bo, I was like, oh, okay then. That, I like that because the, the, end, the, the end of number three was perfect, except for the fact that Bo wasn't in it. Um, or peep if you don't know who I'm talking about. So to see Woody already not really being played with was a bit like, oh, that's a shame. So it didn't really work out for him. But yeah, you know, the Korean in the storyline. So he sneaks into Bonnie's bag and did anybody see when he goes into, when she goes into the like classroom that there is like a grown up boat, um, oh, what do you call that? Grown up boo? from Monsters Inc. is the one like going like that at the table. It's Boo, like I'm pretty sure it's Boo. It was really mean as well when those kids, well, well that that lad, that, that little boy, like doesn't share his stuff with Bonnie and like takes, as, takes the thing from my table and it's like, no, like school is so mean. So she makes Forky. I'm just kind of going through it as quickly as I can because I don't want to talk about every single part. I just want to talk about the part that I really have opinions on. So the next bit that I can, like, in the storyline that I have a big opinion on is when he gets back to the room and they're all like, oh, what are you doing? You shouldn't have gone in the bag. And then he's like, Bonnie made a friend. No, she actually made a friend. <laughs> Forky is everything. I love Forky. He's so funny, honestly. So he, like, zips the bag and then you just see this hand go, Nye. <laughs> Oh, Forky reminds me of my younger days, like when maybe you've had like a long night, maybe alcohol was involved and you are just very like, oh lord, the next morning. And yeah, Forky is basically that. Adults can relate to how Forky feels getting out of that bag. <laughs> Not that I was a big drinker, I really wasn't. But if anything, it reminded me of my little sister getting up on a morning after a night out because my little sister likes a night out, bless her. So it was nice that I took her to see the movie because Forky kind of reminded me of her in some ways. So Forky's hilarious. I love that he keeps like trying to get to the trash bin and he's like, trash. Like I love Forky, he's so funny. So it shows you like the going on a road trip and like, like Forky keeps trying to escape. And then um, the next bit, that I want to talk on is probably is my first like negative and after the whole like little montage of Woody trying to stop 
Porky getting in trash bins constantly. He's sat on the floor and it's night and Bonnie's asleep and he's like looking up from the floor at Bonnie holding Porky and Buzz like rolls over and sits with him and this is the start of pretty much every scene after that where I don't like what they did to Buzz in this movie and I've talked about this with like Matthew and like my partner when we came out of it and he totally agrees like they made Buzz stupid and I don't get it like it's not cool <laughs> like he's not some little side piece like I, I know Woody is the main character but Buzz is like pretty much right there up with them you know the first you watch the first movie and look at Buzz's character yes I know he thinks he's a toy but even the second movie and then by the fourth movie it's like why is he suddenly really stupid and like using his inner voice to I didn't like that to be honest I didn't like what they did to him so he was like how do you decide and he was like and he was like the voice tells you what to do and he was just being a bit like I would have been like if I was Woody I would have been like are you okay Buzz because you're acting a bit like out of it like he was a bit like stupid like they made him like the joke and just I, I think it was to kind of palm him off because he's not really a main character but he needed to be there so they made him like funny and it's like I'd really rather he was given Woody advice because he's a wise good best friend not using his inner voice like yeah parts were funny like later on when they're in the van and there's like the group of them and he's like what do I do and it's funny because every time it says what to do it's, it actually tends to be the right thing to do at that moment in time but overall I didn't really like what they did with his character they made him a little bit the only way to describe him is stupid like they made him the joke and I didn't like that. So obviously Forky jumps out the window, hilarious. And then as soon as Woody jumped after him, I was like, realistically, the speed of that car, well, camper van, would Woody be able to find him jumping out a couple of minutes later? Cause he found him pretty quick and walk all the way to the campsite. Like that's pretty crazy, but hey, I'll take it with a pinch of salt. He did it. It was really funny when he was walking along and like really bonding with, with Forky. Honestly, I love Forky. I think the best thing is when he's like dragging him and then he's like, carry me. No. And then he's like going along and then he's like, he falls again and then he's like going along. Like Forky is just brilliant. I love Forky. So I really like that bit. And it was nice as well when he had a hold of him and he was like, you know what you are? You're trash like me. <laughs> or something like that. Something along those lines. And it's just so funny. So obviously Woody and Foggy then go to try and find Bonnie. Um, and they come across Bo's lamp in the window. And they go in. And this bit, when they bump into Gabby with her like ventriloquist dolls. I think that's what they are. Those dolls are horror movie dolls. They could be Annabelle's boyfriend. If you don't know who Annabelle is, it's a psycho doll that is just very scary <laughs> and no I don't want one of those dolls they realize that Gabby's trying to get his voice box and there's four of them all of a sudden and they like come over and they're like the legs are all floppy and they're on either side of the, the pram thing and like when they're chasing them like this like down that little gap between the cabinets that is scary like is this a kids movie and then like I was talking about partner Matthew was like well I guess it's like like the original number one, like with the doll that is also a spider, like that is scary for a kid. Or is it just freaky and now that we're adults? Cause I don't really remember it being scary as a kid, but now that I think about it, like that is freaky. So I thought it was interesting to put that in, like freaky. So Buzz at this point starts going to look for Woody. And like I said before, he's like using his voice and it was funny, but at the same time it was like, would he do that? Like he's quite a, a their guy. So I don't know. Like I said, I didn't like what they did with Buzz in this movie. It was also a shame that we didn't see Zerg, but I get it. So Buzz goes to look for Woody and he comes across, is it Ducky? Hang on. Who does he come across? Yeah, he comes across Ducky and Bunny. Ducky and Bunny annoy me. I don't like them. Like, I don't like Ducky and Bunny. I know that's probably like really controversial and loads of people will be like, oh no, I think they're great. And like, that's fine if you think they're great. Like, yay. But I just found them really annoying. Like skipping ahead, like, to the point where they're trying to get the keys and they keep like imagining how to get them with the old lady and it just keeps going and it's just like it just keeps going and it's like it's not funny anymore you've done it like three times already and then at the end when they get they go massive and they're like shooting laser beams i don't know that that was completely different humor to toy story humor for me and i didn't like that and they annoyed me sorry so i think this little storyline on wikipedia is a bit messed up so i'm just gonna start going off 
what I remember. So after that point, I think we're kind of getting to the bit where Woody manages to escape. Like, he's, he's escaped and he bumps into Bull. Um, now, this is very controversial. I don't know how much I like Bo's new character. I know. Um, uh, I, I do and I don't. Like, I love that she's an independent woman and she's got sass and she's like a boss babe. But at the same time, did I prefer her in a nice sheep herding dress and a bit more of a... I don't know. I know times changed her and our circumstances have changed her. I get that. But, and I don't, I don't dislike her, but I just feel like if, if there was the new bow and the old bow, I'd be like, oh, I prefer the old bow, but I get this one and it's cool, but I prefer the old bow's character, if that makes sense, before all of the messed up stuff happened to her. Not her fault, you know, life happens. Also, some of the bits that she sees when she bumps into Woody, I will come back to later on. So they make sense for what I want to talk about at the end of the movie. So it was nice to see Bo's like new backstory, um, like what's happened to her, but at the same time, it was a bit sad. It was like, oh bless that. When Woody says like, oh I have a little girl like Bonnie, and and Bo's like, oh a little girl, that's so cute, and it's like, oh bless, like you know, it's a shame that she didn't find a nice little girl. But again, it's our storyline. It's who she's become. I get it. You know, it can't it can't be giggles and magic all the time. I loved a costume, and I loved like the cape and everything. At first, actually, when she came out, I was like, oh, that's a different bow doll. Like, that makes sense. Like, that's a different bow. Like, a different part of the bow peep collection. You know? It was really funny as well when, like, he's talking to Bo and those three little soldiers come over and he keeps trying to get a high five and none of them high five him. Like, you feel really sorry for him, but it's also really funny. So while this is happening, Forky is getting to know Gabby and the whole time, I don't know if this is how it's meant to be, but the whole time I felt like Gabby was putting on a nice act to get to know Forky to get Woody, obviously. But at the same time I was thinking about it and I was like, is she putting on a nice act? Or is she actually just nice and she's just talking to Forky, but yes, she also wants Woody's voice box. Like, I don't know, I didn't like the idea of her putting on this nice act to trick Forky. But I think that's what she was doing, really, if you think about it. So, yeah, that was a bit of a shame. So, like, when she goes and gets... She's like, it's tea time. And she's, like, doing it. And he's, like, helping her. Oh, my God, as well. When he puts his hand on her, you just see this little um, pipe cleaner go on her when she's, like, sad. And it's like, oh, my God. That is so cute. I love Foggy. So, yeah, it's, it's like I couldn't quite tell if she was always putting on a nice act when she was around Foggy in that scene. And when she was wanting to do tea time, or if she is just nice, but she's also taking advantage of the situation. Does that make sense? So Duke Kaboom, you know, Bo and Woody go to get the help of him to, you know, save Forky. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about that character, to be honest. I didn't dislike him, but I didn't like him. I guess maybe he was slightly annoying, but he was funny. I don't know. Yeah, not much to say about him. Maybe a tad annoying, but... Yeah, he did his part in the story. Woody goes back with Bo and Duke Kaboom and tries to rescue Forky. Obviously, it's a failed attempt. And then, like, when they, they get outside and Woody's like, like, I have to. Like, this, this means a lot to me and stuff. And then, like, you know, he has a bit of a fallout with Bo and she's like, bye, Woody. They all go. Like, Duck and Bunny say something there. I can't remember what it is, but they're like, you're stupid or you're crazy. And it, it, it annoyed me. I was like, that was a bit mean. I don't, I don't think they needed to say it like that. Uh, when they're walking away from him. So yeah, he goes back in and those dolls, those 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 bodyguards of Gabby are so scary. So Woody's really nice and he gives Gabby his voice box um, in return for Foggy, um, which was sad. And I was surprised actually that he doesn't pull it. So you know when Gabby pulls hers and it's all messed up, I thought he would pull it and then it would be like, oh no, his voice box is all messed up, but he, he never did, did he? So I thought that was weird that they didn't actually show us what it now sounds like, which I know is a mess, but like, yeah, I thought that was a bit weird. So it was really nice of him to do that, though. It was really touching. It was like, Forky really means a lot to him. I guess he just really wants to do something for Bonnie, because what else can he do? Because she's not really interested in having him as a toy. And that's really sad, because it's like, if you go that far for Bonnie, it's such a shame that Bonnie doesn't know that, or couldn't really understand it because she's a kid. It's like, oh bless, he really does deserve better. Like, he deserves another Andy. Like, that was a bit sad. So it turns out in the end that Harmony, the little girl that Gabby wants to belong to, doesn't want her. She just, like, drops her in this box, and it's like, oh, 
didn't expect that. Like, I guess kids do that though. It was it was one of those moments when you're like, oh, it's just gonna look. Oh, oh, ungrateful child. <laughs> like it was funny. It was funny, uh, but it was also sad. So yeah, Gabby obviously, you know, is like, I'm I'm not leaving. Uh, like I'm staying here and you can have your voice box back and Woody's really nice and Woody's like no come on let's go like Bonnie might like you and then when they're leaving also that's another thing it's just a random little things that I keep noticing like they get out of the antique shop and then like one of her scary doll things is in the cart and it's like did, did none of them want to go and also he's in the cart and one of the women looks in thinking it's a baby and screams and then it's like they just kind of leave him there so he's not even in the antique shop anymore he's just kind of out in the fairground it's like what's gonna happen to him what is happening with um the toys and getting the caravan to turn around to get back to the carousel and they like take over the gps and the brakes and stuff and <laughs> the unicorn wants to send da dad to jail is so funny it's absolutely hilarious you can just see that happening on a family holiday can't you so gabby sees another little girl that's really sad and she ends up going with her and it's like oh actually no that that was a nice end for gabby um and i think it was nice that she was kept separate from the other toys i know that sound, might sound really weird but like i feel like they keep adding to their gang and it's getting harder and harder for them to stay together so it was nice that she went off on her own and had her first little girl to herself so that was really nice that that little girl found her and it gave her the confidence to go and ask like somebody for help and say like i've lost my parents so that was really nice so obviously the next part is i guess what people would call the saddest part of the movie and that is when woody has a decision to make and it's do i go with these guys or do i stay with Bo and be a lost toy I'm just gonna say it, I did not like this ending at all. In fact, I really dislike this ending. So as you guys know, what happens is Woody makes the decision to stay with Bo and become a lost toy. So the problem with the scene that I have is Woody's not a lost toy. <laughs> He's not a lost toy. He is the toy that every child deserves um, and I do not think that he will be satisfied being a lost toy even if he's with Bo and I also think it was wrong for Bo to put him in that position because she clearly is a little bit bitter about her life. I just got that impression and how she's now a lost toy like I think it's a bit of a bravado like the whole like I can do whatever I want and like no more like worrying and stuff and it's like but when Woody mentioned that he had a little girl, she got really excited and she was like, oh, you've got a little girl? Because toys are designed to be kids' toys. So especially Woody, I just think it was wrong of Bo to put him in that position, like me or them. I uh, didn't really like that. Didn't like his decision of being a lost toy. I guess that he's already made the decision to like leave without Bo, like go back to the child instead of Bo once before. And now it's a much easier decision because Bonnie doesn't want him. So I didn't like that part. And then the actual scene, no emotion from the toys. I'm sorry, but it is a huge thing that Woody has just left the, those toys. Like, yes, now that they're part of Bonnie's toys, there is another leader. I can't remember what the little rag doll's called, but she's the leader. However, he is still a big part of the original toys and the new toys' lives. Yes, he gets left in the cupboard every day, but like, they all came out and nobody said anything. Nobody said like, oh my lord, you're leaving or are you leaving? Or no, you can't leave. Nobody said anything. It was like this unwritten, like unsaid thing where everybody was just like, oh, Woody's leaving. And it was like, okay. Okay, maybe the noise unhappy, but still I find that a shock. Um, and then nobody said anything anyway. So a couple of them give each other quick hugs and then nobody's really sad. Everybody's like almost happy for him. Like, oh yeah, hmm, let's hug, oh yeah, yeah. And then it's like, okay, bye, the car's going, bye. Wait, what? Where's the emotion? So yes, I understand that a lot of people did cry at that point. And yes, it did get me, but then it was very quickly actually none of them are crying none of them are actually really sad like this is a big deal and there wasn't much from any of them about the situation and it was over very quickly like i wanted tears i was want i wanted rex to be like no woody you can't go like i wanted emotion it's a big deal i didn't get any it was bizarre and then it was over it was like oh the car the caravan's like pulling back in like we have to go right now and then that's it, they're away. And Woody ran off with the thing with Bo. 
I mean, how long has that, has that group of toys been together? Imagine if you'd known someone that long and, and then, yeah, like, no. I didn't like the lack of emotion. I didn't like the understanding between them all of like, yeah, Woody's going. We don't need to say anything. It's not really that sad. We don't need to cry. I don't know. Yeah, yes, I get that they're like, well, he's going to be happy. It's okay. But at the same time, just because someone's happy doesn't mean you can't be sad about it a little bit. So, yeah, I didn't like that. So, my alternative ending that I want to talk about that would make so much more sense is, hear me out, instead of Bo being like, Woody, like she never said it, but you know, it, there was a choice to be made, wasn't there? Um, instead of Bo putting that on Woody's shoulders, Bo wants a little girl. Why didn't Bo go with them? Problem solved. Woody wouldn't be a lost toy, kidding himself, because I tell you now the next movie is about him wanting to be a toy again, not a lost toy. He doesn't suit it. He does not suit being a lost toy. Like, Bo wanted a little girl. Bo could have had a little girl. Woody could have not been a lost toy. Like, Bo could have, like, if you if they didn't like it, then they could have been a lost toy. Like, oh, this isn't working for us. Like, we're going to go back to being, like, Bo's going to go back to being a lost toy and I'm going to go with that. I get that. But they didn't even give it a try. Like, I feel like she should have gone with them. She could have seen if Bonnie liked her. And even if Bonnie didn't like her and the two of them were in the cupboard every day, the two of them have got each other in the cupboard every day. And then, if anything, they can spend more time together in the cupboard just hanging out while everybody else is getting played with and then at the end of the day when Bonnie goes to sleep they're all together again. They didn't need to split up like that. Like, I'm sorry but I, I get change happens but the big thing is is that Woody doesn't suit being a lost toy. He's now stuck in this life that I don't think Bo likes very much and she would have liked being with Bonnie better, I think. And even if Bonnie didn't like her, they would have been together in the cupboard and then could have been like, actually no, we're sick of being in the cupboard, we're gonna go. Like, I didn't like that ending. I did not like it. My boyfriend did like it. I didn't. My little sister agreed with me though. Didn't like it. So everybody's entitled to their own opinion and apparently a lot of people have different opinions about it. But yeah, I just feel like she should have gone with them. Much better ending. Bo's back with the crap, like with the group. Some of the toys that she was with could have gone with them. Yeah, because then after that, the scene is that like, they're like, oh, he's not lost anymore. And it's like, well, he is. <laughs> like, Buddy is very good at being a toy. And he's not a toy right now. And then he was like, the next scene was he was helping other toys to get kids. And he just didn't suit it. He looked very out of place. Like, like helping those kids, those toys on the thing to get kids by knocking the stuff down. I just felt like he was kidding himself. <laughs> I know he's a toy and you probably say I'm crazy. But I just felt like he was probably wishing, oh actually I wish I was one of these kids toys and I was their favourite toy. And then he could have been back with Buzz. Do you know what I mean? Like, because at the end of the day, Bonnie's gonna grow up and then they, he can go and get a new kid again and possibly be the favorite. I don't know, I didn't like the ending. And then like I said earlier, the bit after that was with Ducky and um, Rabbit and they, were, they went huge and they were shooting lasers and I didn't like that. So yes, I did not like the ending at all. So that is kind of a run through of the movie. I've been talking for a very long time. Uh, general kind of thoughts. Okay, so overall it was really good to see the gang back together. However, I felt like it was a lot of Woody and nobody else. This new bow, which wasn't my favourite bow. Forky, which I did really like. Uh, you know, like new characters like Gabby and stuff. So, And also what they did to Buzz when he was in it, I didn't like. So, overall it was a lot of Woody. So if Woody's your favourite, then awesome. Woody's not... I don't dislike him. He's just not my favourite. So, and then when they did have people back in, it was like a different bow, which I didn't like, and a different buzz, which I didn't like. Uh, I don't really feel like we've seen hardly any of like Jessie. I think she had one kind of scene where she deflated the tyres. I I was excited to see the gang back together, and I I don't feel like we got a lot of that. Um, we got enough though, like a little like here's a here's a new movie with a bit, like okay, like okay. I can deal with that. So I've seen the movie twice, so I obviously don't hate it. Um, it's it's probably, I want to say it's my least favourite Toy Story movie. However, that's not true. There's j I just don't like the ending, which is a big thing. And the fact that it's a new movie that I don't hate and I, I, I'm happy to see again is like, well, then I can't hate it that much. I can't explain it. It's not my least favourite Toy Story movie because... It's probably on the same level as three. So one and two are my favourites and then three and four probably is on par with each other. I don't know what it was about three. It just wasn't my favourite. Um, it just had an epic ending. Like it was perfect. 
But yeah, this one was okay. I just wish there was a bit more original cast being themselves, not new characters or acting strange. Um, I didn't like the ending and the overall vibe of the movie was quite sad. As a whole, because it's a new edition, I liked it. However, there was a lot of things that I didn't like and if it wasn't Toy Story at the end of the day, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much. Like yeah, it was definitely one of my least favourite Toy Stories, but I was happy to see a new Toy Story movie and I would see it again and I bought loads of the merchandise. Woo! So yeah, you know, it was never going to be as good as number one and it was. I, I would like them to do another one to fix that ending. If they leave it there, I'll be quite sad about that. <laughs> so yeah, I did like it. I really did. I'd see it again. I'd go back to the cinema and see it right now. But it was, it was quite a negative movie with a lot of character changes. It was kind of like they were teasing me, like, here's some Toy Story, but not as much as you want. So it just leaves me going, uh, like, clinging at bits that I did like and wanting more. So I didn't hate it, I just didn't love it. So I hope that made sense, I've been talking for a really long time. Let me know what you thought about Toy Story 4 below, and if you agree or disagree, like, yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this movie. I'm going to have some more movie reviews up very soon. I've got an Aladdin movie review coming. Yes, I know that's late. And a Lion King movie review coming very soon. Apologies that they are both very late as well. I will get them for you as soon as I can. Look out for them on my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.